Hi everyone, Richard here from Mammoth Journeys. Today we're going to do a video review on the Marin Ocasio Plus. I've been riding this bike now for over a year and a half, so in a pretty good position to give it a, a good review. Um, I will say that um, Mammoth Journeys are partnered with Marin uh, Bikes, so we do get uh, a, a discounted rate. However, I will be as honest as I can uh, saying who the bike's suitable for and perhaps those that it may not be best suited for. So uh, let's get going. So the Nicasio Plus is from their Beyond Road range. Now this is an ever-growing range they have with quite a few bikes. We've tried the Four Corners and the Castal already, but there's, uh, there was three things that really drew me to this bike. Firstly was how it looked. It just looked really, really smart. I, I think it looked uh, just really stylish. I love the colour of the frame. I love the tan uh, uh, tyres. And uh, the other two things was the single speed on the front. I've never had a bike like that before. And the width of the tires, uh, really, and, and the fact they were more suited for urban, um, kind of drew me towards the bike. The majority of the riding I do is on, on road, so I thought this could be a really, a really uh, a good bike for me. As soon as I got the bike, the first couple of weeks, I was blown away with how much fun it was to ride. It was just so easy, and uh, it was just so, so comfortable and I really really did have a lot of fun so much so that I actually just stopped using my road bike and I've not used it now for most of the time I've had this it's been in storage actually um, and yeah it's been really good fun so we'll go through some of the, the technical bits and the specifics and then we'll say uh, the kind of riders where it would be most suitable so before doing this video I did give the bike a clean uh, but after a year and a half uh, worth of use there's still a bit bits that are, are dirty so I apologise for that and you'll notice there are a few little scrapes on that and uh, again that comes from a bit of wear and tear. Uh, we'll start off the front and we'll work our way backwards, uh, hopefully I don't miss anything. Um, so we'll start off with the tyres, so they're these real wide 47mm WTB Horizons and they, you'll notice that they're quite smooth, they don't have a lot of nobbles on. Um, they're, really, they're really good for tarmac, they're really, they work well on sort of towpaths or compact gravel. As soon as you get anything a bit more sludgy, a bit more wet, they don't do as well. Um, there's 650 Bs on this size frame, uh, but given how wide they are and how bulky they are, I guess, they, they ride real smooth and they, they've got a really good rolling speed. Um, for the 18 months I've had it, I've had one puncture um, and I, I really, I can't say anything bad about the tyre side of things, really good. Uh, but if you are looking for something that is going to be used in a bit wetter conditions, they probably wouldn't fare as well. Um, the next are the Marin uh, wheels that come as their standard. So this has been a year and a half, and I'll do a close-up, but there's absolutely no buckling. No, nothing's gone on in either side of, uh, of on, either, on either wheel. The only downside I have of them is um, I was looking at doing a, a bike packing uh, three day, four day trip and I wanted to swap to something a bit more knobbly tyres and I thought I'd go tubeless but the, the, the wheels aren't set up for that so I'd have to buy new wheels along with the new knobbly tyres I was going to look at. Um, so I ended up just scrapping it because it was going to spiral with a bit of cost. Um, but, so if that's really important to you, it's something to consider when buying this bike that you'll have to have that uh, finance on top of, um, on top of the, uh, the bike itself. Uh, so the next thing we're going to go along to is the brakes. So the brakes are mechanical and they're okay. So the disc brakes I've had with the other previous Marins have been again okay. Comparative to a mountain bike hydraulic ones or any other hydraulic ones, they're just not they're not as reactive, but they do everything fine that, that I've been wanting them to do. Uh, but it's uh, yeah, just something to to be, I guess, think of if hydraulics are really important for you, then you need to look at an alternative bike. So staying on the front, we're going to talk about the handlebars first. So they've got quite a nice little oval uh, grip feel on the front, on the top, which is quite, which is quite nice, makes it nice and comfortable. Uh, you'll notice that the handlebar width and sort of uh, flare is quite similar to like a normal road bike. Some other gravel bikes have a, a wider setup with a, a wider flare, so if that's important to you, it's something to consider. You'll see I've got my two-lay handlebar mount here and it uh, fits the bag easily and I've got my um, cycle computer mount on, uh, on the stand here. Um, talking about the shifters, uh, this uses the uh, Advent Micro Shift which I'd not heard of before. Um, all my bikes prior to this have been Shimano 
and so I was a bit surprised that Marin had gone away from a more traditional brand, well, in my mind, um, but over 18 months they've been absolutely fine. They've changed quickly, smoothly, I've not had any issues with them, they're not broken, a little bit of maintenance that you'd need with any type of um, derailleur, and so they've been, they've been really good. So if you are looking at the spec and like me, you haven't heard of them, don't let that put you off, they've been absolutely grand. Um, so moving along, we'll come on to the frame. So other than being uh, a nice uh, looking real smart, um, this is a steel frame. So with that comes uh, the comfort you get from steel. So with the wide tyres, steel frame, it's just super comfortable. It does obviously have the negative of having a weight with steel. So I think it's 12.9 kilos for the weight of the bike. Plus you start putting some of your stuff on, it starts to add up a little bit. So something to consider and we'll talk about the weight uh, in a second as I, as I finish through. Uh, let's talk a bit about the, the drivetrain and the driver train uh, cassette and the gearing. So um, as I said it's really good, it works really well, works really smooth. Um, it's, the ratio uh, is not as forgiving as other bikes I've had. So on those particular long steep climbs um, I'm having to work a little bit harder than I have with other bikes. It's not a problem, uh, um, uh, but it's just something to consider. Maybe I'm just a bit lazy, a little bit weak, uh, but uh, it's something that I've found compared to the other bikes that I've used. And we'll talk about it again uh, with the weight on the type of uh, rise where it works well and ones where it's, it's a little bit tougher. Uh, keeping at the back of the talking about the wheels, I will leave a link for the description with the um, for the mud guards. A few people have asked in the past on other videos where I have the mud guards from. I found it quite hard to get the ones that were wide enough for these tyres that fitted into this gap. And they work really well. I do need to get rid of these little metal bits and I will do. I've just been a bit lazy. I did skip the saddle. The saddle is the stock saddle that comes um, on the bike. It's super comfortable, no issues at all. Uh, I, I mention this because of the Gestalt that we had before, we had to swap it, didn't agree with us, but this one does. Um, saddles are very specific to your sort of anatomy and your, and your setup and your makeup, so to speak. And so what works for me may not work for you, but I found that really comfortable. I did skip a little bit here as well, apologies. These aren't the stock pedals, so I put those pedals on that um, I prefer for, uh, for the riding that I do. So after 18 months of riding, um, Overall, it's just been an amazing bike. I've really enjoyed it. The first two weeks of me riding it, um, I, I just couldn't get over how much fun it was. I couldn't really put my finger on what, uh, but I ended up just stopped using my road bike and going out on this all the time. And it's been, now, now my road bike's just in storage and I use this for pretty much everything. Um, it's so much fun. It, it, it's so close to knocking off the four corners as the all round amazing bike. I think where it gets picked is the fact that the four corners, you could, it is well and truly the one bike that you need to do everything. You can only afford or only store one bike, the Marin Four Corners still is the absolute, the one that's going to do it all. This however comes in at a really, really, really close second. It's so much fun. I think the crux of it is, if majority of your riding is going to be on road, if you're going to do your gravel riding on tow paths or fire brake paths or, you know, firm, gravel uh, and you're not going to go do off um, big heavy laden riding this is this is this is the bike you should get it, it's so much fun if you're looking for a really good solid commuter again a really really good option if however you're looking at doing some really heavy loaded touring if you're looking at going off wet muddy tracks or you're looking at doing either of those in combination with some heavy long climbs I don't think this bike would be best suited with the weight of the bike, the gear ratio, it makes that if you're loaded up on long, steep hills, I think it's going to really, really be tough, especially as the days mount up. And um, what comes as stock for the tyres on the bike, I think it makes it going on those wet, muddy tracks just that little bit. Uh, well, it, it just your wheels just spin out ultimately. So because of those two things that are limited, if that's what you're looking to buy the bike for. I would look maybe more down the four corners route. If however, like me for the past 18 months you've been doing majority of road riding, a little bit of gravel bike riding, gravel riding on firmer paths, then you really got to think of this. I mean it's 18 months and I, I know that has a few scuffs and it's still a little bit dirty in places, but it rides as good as it did at the start. Um, it is really, really good fun and of the bikes we've had from, from Marin, this has got to be the closest to knocking off the four corners at the top, which says a lot about the bike. Um, so yeah, that, that's my 
uh, view and that's what I've felt like um, when I've been riding it over the past 18 months. Please let me know if you have any questions that I didn't answer or if I skipped a bit of uh, a uh, bit of kit that I didn't go into enough detail. And if you disagree with what I said, please, please let me know and what your experience have been if you've been riding one of these uh, bikes. And if you've anything else to say, let me know in the in the comments below. Uh, you can see our other reviews that we've done for some of the other Marin bikes and some of our two-leg kit as well. And if you subscribe to us, you can get uh, all the latest videos as they come out. Thanks for watching, and we'll speak soon.